Here's the 2019 Stanley Cup playoff final preview of the St. Louis Blues versus the Boston Bruins. Now, this final was probably the, the least likely final to be predicted uh, earlier in the season. At the midpoint of the season, St. Louis were bottom of the league. They weren't predicted to get into the playoffs. That second half of the season, between January the 2nd and the end, end, uh, end of March, beginning of April, they went on a, a, a four-month run of just playoff-style hockey form. And they didn't just sneak into the playoffs. They, they nearly won the Central Division. They came from dead last to, to being just you know two points off winning the Central Division. That is how close they came to a miraculous comeback and to be first overall seed in the Central. They were third overall seed, which meant they played Winnipeg Jets, my favourite team, and they won that series in six. That was actually a tougher series than the 4-2 win suggests. Every single one of their series this year has actually been really tough, really physical. If you look over at Boston, they've had a sweep in the last round and they've had more rest. St. Louis are the underdogs. The last time these two teams met in the Stanley Cup playoffs was in 1970 in the Stanley Cup final, and then that time they were the underdogs. And that's the famous Bobby Orr flying through the air goal celebration as he scores the winning goal to win the Stanley Cup for Boston in 1970. Now, St. Louis fans have had years and years of hurt. Okay, They've had the three Stanley Cup final appearances between 67 and 70 and nothing for 49 years. They're back. Boston, this is their third appearance in the decade. Now, they obviously won in 2011 and were runners-up in 2013. This is possibly the easiest matchup Boston have had in the Stanley Cup uh, finals out of the three. Uh, and they shouldn't underestimate the St. Louis Blues. Now, that extra rest can go in Boston's favour. The St. Louis Blues are a bit bashed up. The players are feeling injuries and knocks and niggles. And that series against the San Jose Sharks was a real intense series. In fact, all of their series have been. Whereas Boston, they sweep the Hurricanes in the last round and they have that extra rest. Now, that can go in Boston's favour, but it can go against them. Now, the Boston Bruins are the favourites. They have the, the, the playoff final, Stanley Cup final experience in their team. A lot of their players were there in 2011 and 2013. And they have that experienced core to their side, which the St. Louis Blues, they haven't been at this stage for so long. And last season, missing the playoffs, they, they choked away a playoff position. They, they, they fell out of the playoffs and had a disastrous end to the season. That sort of carried over to the beginning of this season. Now, there is that mental side of things. So they have had this emotional run in regular season, second half of the season, and the playoffs. How much mental and emotional energy do they have left? We know they're skilled enough, but it's the mental side of the game. I think that's where their weakness lies. They've put so much energy into the last five months, five and a half months of hockey, that, you know, how, how much is that going to, you know, affect them? You know, uh, I don't think this series is going to be a sweep. I do think it could go to the seven games. I think where Boston have had that rest, that can also be a negative. We've seen with the All-Star break and the bye weeks how that affected teams at the midpoint of the season. Now, it affected St. Louis in a positive way. They actually ended up going on this positive run. My team, the Jets... They were actually really strong going into the All-Star break in the bye week. They came out of it in different form. So, you have to treat it like that kind of bye week. You've got all this momentum, and then you're waiting, and you're waiting, and you're waiting. And that's where you can lose your edge a little bit. So, Boston has to be careful. They're not complacent out of the gate. St. Louis, how tired are they? How much energy do they have left? Uh, they weren't expected at hard midway point of the season to be in the playoffs, let alone get to the final. So they've, they've surpassed expectations uh, of a lot of people. They are the underdogs. They've had to play more games to get to this point. Boston have been better defensively. Boston have been more solid throughout not just in the playoffs, but throughout the regular season. Um, so on, on paper, I think everyone's going to go for Boston in this one. But for heart and character, you, wanna, you want the Blues to win. Um, it's been 49 years since they've been in the Stanley Cup final and the last time they were in the, in the finals was against Boston and the great Bobby Orr. So there's some, there's, 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 a, there's a fairy tale story to this meetup, this matching. It's, it's revenge for, you know, for 1970 on the St. Louis Blues part and the Boston Bruins, this is their third final in 10 years, no, eight years even, but in the last decade, they obviously want to you know, win their second Stanley Cup uh, in, in eight years and get their name on the trophy again for St. Louis. They've never won the Stanley Cup. They've had three appearances in the finals between 67 and 70. And 
the thing is, no one expects them to be here. They've gone on this amazing run. Can it continue? Can they, can they do what Vegas failed to do last year as the underdog team and actually go on and use that emotional side of the game that they've had and, and get their hands on the trophy for the first time? Because I did predict a new name would be on the trophy this season. So I am, I'm going with the Blues as the underdog. The Bruins are the favourites, but my pick is the Blues. I think they've got that emotional side and the momentum. Because they played more hockey, that is a concern that the body, you know, they are tired. There's carrying some injuries there. But because Boston have had that extra time off, they could be a little bit slow out the gate. We've seen when when, when teams have had that bye week or the All Star break, they are a little bit slow out the gate. Sometimes a bit sluggish. It takes a while to get you know get going again. And while rest is important, I think at this stage you just want to you want to be playing every other day. And Boston haven't had that, whereas St Louis have. St Louis, they'll be looking at you know how who's going to be fit and available. Looking at the minor injuries to see if players can you know be fit enough to start. There's a few more days to go, but I think St. Louis, they've got that underdog side that I like, I always like an underdog, and I'm not a St. Louis Blues fan. They knocked out the Winnipeg Jets, my team, which was frustrating. But the way they've conducted themselves the, 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 for the second half of the season, the energy they put in, and it's almost like a Lazarus comeback. They weren't expected. They, they're breaking all, all the uh, past records. No team that has been bottom at that point in the season has ever got this far into the playoffs. Boston... Do they have the mental side of the game themselves uh, and enough left in the tank for some of their senior players to do it a second time? Like Zeno Shara, Bergeron uh, and Pasternak. Some of these players have played a lot of hockey. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It is going to be very, very interesting. But Boston have been the better side throughout the regular season and the playoffs. But that counts for nothing. Hopefully the emotion doesn't get to the St. Louis players. And, and, you know, they just use the momentum of the run they've been on for the last five months, nearly six months, because that can take you a long way. So I'm going to pick the St. Louis Blues personally, but the Boston Bruins are favourites on paper and on form because they've been more efficient in the playoffs in sweeping teams and, and playing less games. They're less bashed up. This is going to be an intense matchup. I believe it will go to seven games. And, you know, it's winner takes all this time. We may see a new name on the trophy, as I predict. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's my little preview of the 2019 uh, Stanley Cup playoffs and the Stanley Cup final. And please enjoy. Place your comments below, and we'll have a look to see who actually does win if my prediction comes true. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.